Welcome back everybody and welcome if you are new. Uh, today I'm excited to show the installation of the View Assist Companion app. Uh, this application allows you to install an Android application on a tablet or other device that you might have that will allow you to use um, Home Assistant and the Voice Assistant uh, using the wake word. Um, which is processed locally on the device um, to interact with Home Assistant and also with the View Assist um, integration and uh, uh, project that we have going. Uh, if you're not familiar with View Assist, I'll link a video describing it um, so that you can see, but basically it mimics uh, the commercial um, visual voice assistants, things like the uh, Echo Show and the uh, Nest Home uh, device that has uh, the screen. Uh, it will interact with uh, voice commands uh, given to Home Assistant and show a corresponding view um, all on the tablet. Uh, I have plenty of videos on that and I will link those as well. But uh, first I'd like to um, give a huge thanks to Mark Parker for uh, his efforts in writing this application and updating it. It's been in use for probably about six months or so and it greatly uh, reduces the complexity of installing uh, View Assist and, and um, all the, uh, the portions that we used to have to do. It is all wrapped up into one. You not only get a browser display, the built-in voice uh, assistant, uh, but you also get a media player as well. So uh, there'll be links in the description so you can get more information about uh, the View Assist Companion app, but uh, the focus here is to get it installed, so that's what we'll move on to doing now. Um, uh, the link will show you the, uh, the View Assist Companion app wiki, which has um, a bunch of information about what it is and what you can do with it, uh, as well as how to get started. So we'll get started on that now. We'll click the link here. Um, the uh, first step you'll need to do is, uh, well, first off, you will have to have Home Assistant um, already uh, set up to use voice. Um, and I have uh, another video for that that I'll link as well. Uh, but assuming that you have the voice stuff set up and ready to go, uh, the first step here would be to install the View Assist um, uh, companion app integration. Um, that's easily done by using the uh, hacks. If you don't have hacks, I have a video for that too. Um, but we'll go over to the Home Assistant um, uh, UI um, web GUI and we'll go over to hacks. We'll click on hacks and you can search for View Assist. Um, as you can see, I have the View Assist integration, which is different. Uh, then the View Assist Companion App integration. We'll want to install the View Assist Companion App integration by clicking on it. We'll have some information here. You click Download and we'll hit Download and this will install the, uh, the integration. If you scroll down you'll see that uh, re restart is required so we'll click and we'll go ahead and restart that now and while we wait for that to happen um, we can move over to the next step which is installing the Android app on the uh, on the tablet so I'll switch the view over to the tablet I'll turn this off uh, here's the here's the tablet screen uh, the easiest way to do this is to open a web browser and to search for View Assist Companion App. Let's try that again. View Assist Companion App. And the first uh, link that you'll find is Mark's uh, repo for it. We'll click here to go to the GitHub. And then we'll scroll down to releases. Uh, releases. It will load the page and then we'll go to 0 
and we want to download the APK from here click on there and if this is your first time set up you may have to give some permissions we'll download this file and we should see that the file is downloading and the file has downloaded if we click on it we can open it uh, you may also have this issue where unknown apps from the source is not uh, allowed. Just go to settings and then we'll say allow from this source and then hit back and then it says do you want to install this application and yes we do. So we'll hit install and we'll wait a short time for the application to install. Once it's installed we'll click open and this is the splash screen in just a second it will ask us to set various permissions you want to allow it to do this while using the app we can it uh, access photos and media we want to say allow it says right settings permission required so we need to set um, the permissions for it to be able to control the brightness so if you say got it it'll bring you where you need to be scroll down pick view assist companion app allow to modify settings and then we'll just keep hitting back back until we're back we'll say got it and then the do not disturb it wants permission as well similar click allow do not disturb allow back back um, this is from the Android device uh, here we are we're waiting for a connection we'll click launch on boot as an option because we want this to come on each time that the uh, device is powered on and if that is uh, if you don't want to you don't have to but this is very convenient um, on the screen you can see uh, various information about the view assist version uh, the port that it talks on the IP address of the device that it's running on and the UU uh, ID what we need to do is close the view assist companion app by swiping up you hit the little square button and then if you swipe up from here you close the application and then when you open it again okay at this point we'll click devices and services we can see that um, our companion app has been auto discovered we'll click add it says do you want to add it we say submit and the device will connect very loudly. Uh, we'll click the area that we want. Uh, for this one, we'll just say Office. And we'll click Next. Uh, then it'll ask you for some information. Uh, we will just leave this for, uh, this is a demo. We'll leave this set for the device name that it gives. Um, you can choose the Assistant. I have. A few different ones. I typically like to use the preferred one, but you can choose what you like. Um, you can pick the voice and then you can hit done and we should be set up for using the voice. Um, if we scroll down to view assistant companion app, we can see and this excuse me this is my uh, this is my production one. So I believe this is the one that we're on here. If we click on it, we can see that there's a multitude of different um, options and uh, devices that it provides. Um, one of which is the, uh, the volume, which I'll try to lower. And let me just click this to make sure I'm on the right device. Yep, so this is the device. So um, if you scroll down, you can see that we're using the uh, preferred assistant and the wake word here I'll choose OK Nabu and if I say OK Nabu turn on living room lights turn on the lights so you can see that now we have control and at this point we are uh, good to go as far as using uh, the view assistant companion app 
uh, for a voice assistant. Uh, if you want to continue and expand to using uh, with View Assist, which I strongly encourage, um, we have a video um, that I'll link uh, for setting that up. But basically, you're just going to uh, create a new View Assist uh, device and pick all the entries from here, like the media player um, and the um, and the display, and you will uh, you will get to see. I guess I should show you that here on on the Android device. If you go to the View Assist page, it will show you that this is the device ID and you'll need that device ID when setting up uh, things in the, um, in the View Assist integration. So that's about a wrap for this one. Uh, it's a fantastic application. Uh, again, thanks to Mark and, and if you have a chance, uh, drop in on our Discord and, and tell him uh, hello and, and have a chat with us. We, we're a very friendly group and we're always looking to uh, to expand the capabilities of View Assist and Voice uh, on Home Assistant. Uh, we ask that you uh, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel for, for updates, uh, look through the wiki, it will always have the most updated information in it. Um, and uh, additionally, uh, if you can, store our uh, GitHub uh, repo so that folks see that there's a, a lot of attention and action going on. But um, until then, uh, this is it. <laughs>